everyone. I hope you all are doing well and having a good day. I normally don't do commentary videos anymore, but that's just because I don't have the time for it. But I wanted to talk about Ark Survival Ascended with you guys. So if you guys do not know, since 2015 I've been playing Ark Survival Evolved. I initially began to upload videos on YouTube of the game when Scorched Earth came out back in like 2016. I love this game, so I'm excited for Ark Ascended. So here's everything that we know about the game that is supposed to come out at the end of October. Right now, as of today, it is the 29th of October, and it is out on PC already. But based on news for everyone else, mostly like consoles like uh, Xbox and PlayStation, it comes out for consoles in November at some point in time. From the sounds of it, the game is basically a refreshed and updated version of Ark Survival Evolved when it comes to graphics, mechanics, and animation. It looks like the HUD has been updated as well. That will include the same maps as well, like I the island map, and possibly eventually the center, Ragnarok Fjorder, Crystal Isles, and the Lost Island map. So while the island map is for sure the main base map as of now, there are, the others are still unknown if they will be coming out or not but I wouldn't be surprised if they do eventually do come out. Along with the new things like this there will also be more character customization improvements and even like wild baby dinos. I will link the trailer in the description below and honestly I'm stoked. Ark needed something like this you know just a facelift to match up with the hardware that the newer consoles can provide when it comes to graphics so let's look at some of the new features. For starters, Ascended will have a photo mode now that survivors can use. This will be extremely handy for those wanting to create awesome displays and for those that have need for thumbnails and videos. It might take me a while to get used to this feature, but I'm extremely excited from it because I'm so tired of using the orbital camera view with me just standing next to something interesting <laughs> for my thumbnails. It's not fun. Ascended will be cross-platform with, s and so that will include, let's see, so it'll include PC, Xbox, and PlayStation as of now. From the sounds of it, cross-platform will include both um, both online servers, like official servers, with up to, I, I think it's a large amount of players, but I know for private servers, it's eight survivors per server, at a time anyway. While the, um, so while the online official servers don't affect me too much, this will expand a plethora of opportunities for those that have friends on different platforms or even help make new friends. This is really honestly an exciting feature and it would be nice to see in a survival game. Most cross-platform games right now are battle royales and first-person shooters, so something like this for a survival game could possibly open doors for a lot of other developers to expand on in the future. So I'll read like a little bit here on the site. So. Let me see what it says. This includes cross-platform accounts and cross-progression, cross-voice chat, and friends. No matter what platform you start playing on, you can access your account, character, dinos, and items on a different platform for the ultimate cross-platform experience. So that's really awesome. I'm super, I'm super thankful that they're doing something like this because I, uh, I follow a lot of the forums and a lot of people are constantly asking questions on how they can save their dinosaur if they're moving to another console or another platform. So this actually helps limit all of that. At the bottom of the features list under the live operations paragraph, this article states that both Ark Survival Evolved and Ark Survival Ascended will coexist, but not be supported by cross-platform between the two games. That's kind of understandable since both games will be significantly different when it comes to graphics and things like that. But I would also like to mention that there is going to be a mod program that will be added to Ascended as mods will now be able to be used on all platforms, including console. So while PC already has Ascended, this is really exciting, honestly, because mods will give the players on consoles so much more to explore as well. So let me see what else they have here. We recognize the power of giving players the tools and capability to define their survival experience. So we want to take cross-platform one step further by working with Overwolf to introduce an industry-first cross-platform modding experience where mods created on PC are delivered directly to end users on consoles from a custom modding backend. The modding capability will include full blueprinting support stacked mods and maps everything that is currently possible on the steam version of arc survival evolved and more will be possible on the new system and be available for end users to play on consoles in all modes premium mods reviewed by overwolf and wildcard for quality control and value mod authors will optionally be able to specify price points for their mods with 50 percent of the price point going to the mod author 
This is necessary to pay for the custom infrastructure required for Overwolf to support, administrate, and deliver mods to the console. So a lot of there are a lot of modders that don't really do this for money and stuff like that. And while it does suck that you will have to pay for mods, I couldn't. I would assume that there's going to be some that are free as well. But it's still exciting because it's you know it's no different than buying an at like an add-on pack at this point. We plan on streamlining the process of upgrading Legacy Arc Survival Evolved mods to the next generation platform. We plan to reach out to current slash former sponsored modders in preparation for the launch of Ascended with the tools they need to get their mods ready before the launch. So some of the, like, it's obvious that they're, you know, they've got a big old plethora of people that they're going to reach out to for mods. That's really exciting. And I've seen so many cool mods on PC, and it's really been a bummer because I haven't been able to enjoy those on console. So the fact that they're not only putting them on console, but they're going to support those that mod the game and stuff like that, it's awesome. I really enjoy that. The other things that are mentioned on this list are, um, let's just go over some of the other other amazing things that I've been seeing on here. So Unreal Engine 5 overhaul with Nanite, Lumen, and RTXD. Dynamic water. So now there'll be, like, it'll be obvious that you jump into the water. There'll be splashes. There'll be waves. There'll be, you know, stuff like that. And I've already seen that in some of the footage on uh, a lot of people's gaming channels that they've been putting up since Ascended launched. Interactive foliage. So the foliage will move with you. It'll, the trees now actually fall down instead of just, like, disintegrating on hit unreal engine 5 performance gains instance rendering large bases threaded server networking and native physics engine so remember like an arc when you would get super far away from your base so just boop and it's gone it sounds like now you can see them from a really far distance and you don't have to worry about running into somebody's structure or getting stuck in it on official so they also updated the mini-map, which includes the pan, zoom, pings, etc., similar to the SOTF mini-map. New structures, display cases, smaller tech teleporters, and building QOL improvements, snap fixes, increased foundation support, foundation height adjustments, and more. So now you can adjust the height of your foundations, and it sounds like you can use like almost like a wheel to adjust your your placement of your of your uh, of your structures. So like. I've already seen some people be putting down like walls and stuff like that and they can alter it to be a door or a or a window instead of having to build every single piece by itself. So there's also a new queuing system. There's new third person camera with the option to opt out. So that's nice. Directional sprinting when walking, ping system, gamepad cursor, chibi slot and skins tab. And then there's also balance passes. Examples include cave entrances, mechs, aberration creatures, more breedable creatures, etc. So I got to emphasize on that last part, more breedable creatures. Does that mean we'll eventually be seeing baby griffins? Holy shit, that's so exciting. If we know anything about Wildcard, we know for a fact that this will not be the end of it. Voting for new creatures will still be an event on the official survivetheark.com page online, and there will be constant updates to the game along with new holiday events. But with that comes some sad news that we all knew was coming. With the launch of Ascended, official support for Primitive Plus split screen and procedurally generated maps will end, as stated in this list. These aspects of the game will not be ported to the new Unreal Engine 5 version. We will look into releasing the source files for Primitive Plus for those that wish to repurpose the aspects of it for mods. So I honestly loved playing on Primitive Plus, and I hope that it will live through in some of the mods program that they plan to implement into Ascended so that I can continue to enjoy it and also record it for you guys, because I honestly loved Primitive Plus. I loved the way the game worked. I loved how the structures looked. I loved that, the you know, there was just more steps into certain things, and on top of that, you didn't have to worry about using tech. So... It was just more of a challenge, but I'm excited if somebody does make a mod of it. And I have a feeling that because Primitive Plus was so well loved that it'll definitely happen. Arc Survival Evolved released its final content update back in June of this year with that freakishly large moth, the Rigo Nathia or whatever it's called. And August was the final month for official servers that were considered online and then they were terminated by the end of the month. So despite all of this, Arc Survival Evolved will still be getting bug fixes and focuses on correcting crashes. That does eventually mean that after some time, Arc Survival Evolved will definitely come to an end. Like they will eventually just stop supporting the game and everything like that. And if you think about it, like the game's been out for a very long time, so it's kind of been a long time coming. So now let's get on to the other add-ons for Ascended, like the DLC. 
yeah, so all this D DLC that I'm going to be listing is stuff that we've already seen. So Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction, Genesis 1, and Genesis 2. So all that DLC will come out periodically and in bundles that can be pre-ordered. So the Explorers pack will include Scorched Earth, Aberration, and Extinction, while the Genesis pack will include Genesis 1 and 2. These two packs are $19.99 each, and as I said before, will be launched periodically. So there will also be new creatures included with each DLC, and those will be announced later on as time progresses, according to the site. So that means not just the Scorched Earth creatures we've already seen, but possibly more. So that's really cool. I think this will be beneficial to those that are new to the art community and want to play the game from start to finish by going through each pack categorically, especially with Ascended. So for those that are curious about the cost of the game, since it is a next-gen remaster of its predecessor, I've, always, I've got this listed down below. Xbox S and X and PC players will only be able to get it via an ultimate value bundle known as the Ark Respawned Bundle. This bundle includes ownership of both Ark Survival Ascended and Ark 2, which will be priced at $49.99. This bundle will be able to purchase from the end of August up to one year after after which Ark Survival Ascended and Ark 2 will be sold separately. Additionally, the bundle will provide players access to an exclusive one-month closed beta to Ark 2 in 2024 before the rest of the general public can play Ark 2. PlayStation 5 users will be able to get their hands on Ark Survival Ascended as a standalone next-gen game at launch for $39.99. So Arc 2 on, is its own standalone game, and there hasn't been much news on it since its delay. There was a talk of it coming out at the end of this year, but it's uncertain right now that it'll come to fruition. It sounds like Wildcard has, has its hands full trying to work on two games, DLC, an animated series, and keeping people happy all the time, all at once. It's got to be a hard job, and honestly, I'll just be patient for it all to come out. So with this news on Ascended, it's obvious that we can expect to wait just a bit longer. Ascended was supposed to launch back in August, but it was delayed. Basically, many survivors will be paying for a whole new game with the concept as being Ark Survival Evolved at this point. I am fine with just paying for it as I already bought Ark Survival Evolved twice in the past. Many people may complain about all of this, but it won't stop them from buying the game. Think of Skyrim or of Grand Theft Auto 5. Like, both of those games have been out for well over a decade now and many people have had to buy them at least twice so that they can play them on next gen consoles or just on all their consoles in general. Ark Survival Evolved is almost 10 years old already and it needs something to keep it alive and this may be exactly what it needs. A new upgrade with many things that players have been asking for for years along with a few new other features. While that part is mostly my opinion, I understand if y'all think differently and are upset by the cost of the game. As for me, my little survivor ass is buying the damn thing for a third time so I can chase around baby dinos and get excited just about the adjustable foundations for building, honestly. <laughs> for me, I am truly stoked for this game and I've been playing it for years and uploading to YouTube because I love ARK. I hope you guys will stick around so that we can all enjoy it together when it comes out in November. If there are any further updates, I will let you all know. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about ARK Survival Ascended and I will see you all next time. Bye!